Well, in Calgary, it's a battle between freedom of expression and a by-the-book condominium board. Calgary resident Derek Philibrandt, Philibrandt, I should say, wants to fly with Canadian fly, his Canadian flag with pride, but the condo board is threatening stiff fines if he continues to show his Canadian spirit. Derek Philibrandt joins us now live in Calgary. He's also Alberta director for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. How are you doing today? Oh, just fine. I've uh, I've been having a very good day actually. I guess since this. Uh since this happened, we've had a lot of really, really positive uh, comments from our neighbors and people on the Sun's uh, online uh, articles. And Derek, you know, uh, just looking at this issue, uh, look, I'm going to play the devil's advocate for a moment. These uh, condo boards sometimes can have some strict regulations. You don't want barbecues underneath your mm -hmm. unit to get all the smoke coming up in them. And you don't want all kinds of uh, flags from a million different countries flying off of your condo uh, building. You know, you want it to have a certain mm -hmm. type of appearance. Uh, what's your argument here? Why should you be able to fly the flag on a probably a condo when a condo board that's rather strict and asks you not to? Mm -hmm. Well, I've gone uh, through the condo regulations, uh, our, our bylaws right here in uh, the Riverbend Village, and it, they're very clear. They does not ban the flag anywhere, and uh, it's really up to the board's discretion. Uh, it, it's up to the board to decide if they want to do this. I mean, uh, the most often one they cite is, yeah, what if we have 9,900 flags here? We have rainbow flags, we've got pirate flags, Iron Maiden flags. You know, I, I just don't think that's, uh, that, that's, uh, that's a, really a serious concern here. People want to fly a Canadian flag or an Alberta flag. Frankly, another country's flag that's not, uh, that's not a reasonable, I, I, I really don't care as long as it's done properly and, and, and hung reasonably. Uh, I think this is more of a case of at least some members on uh, our condo board here, not all members, but at least some people who are kind of trying to govern it like it's a little city, like they're not condo board members, but they're, they're aldermen. And, uh, and trying to run a little municipality here. That's just not the role of uh, a condo board. It's to administer, it's to do uh, maintenance. And, and generally, most of these things are supposed to get approved uh, as long as they're being reasonable. And I think it was just a case of, uh, I was the new guy moving into the neighborhood when I bought my house here. And uh, I just wasn't terribly interested in, uh, in uh, kowtowing to a board of directors. You know what, uh, I think it's quite reasonable that somebody in Canada wants to fly a Canadian flag for that matter. And, and I don't understand why this can't be an exemption in, in the sense that flying a Canadian flag, I'll be ever what property it would be in Canada, seems a, like a good idea to me. You can say, mm -hmm. don't fly those Iron Maiden flags or whatever else there is, just keep it straight mm -hmm. up Canadian flags. That's where we live. Yeah, well, you know, these, uh, these things are always kind of difficult. I mean, what should be allowed, what shouldn't... I'm okay with an Alberta flag as well, uh, you know, uh, Union Jack. It doesn't really matter, but again, I guess uh, where you draw the line can be difficult, but that should be up to a, a reasonable judgment call by, uh, by a condo board. And, you know, we've heard of these kinds of things before. Uh, a lot of my neighbors have told me they've, they've tried to do uh, very reasonable additions to their properties, but they've always been kind of shot down. Uh, it's just not really my nature to... Uh, to kind of give in on something like this. I mean, uh, a lot, most places I've lived, I've always uh, grown up with a Canadian flag around at our cottage. We've always f flown it. Uh, this is the second house I've owned and the first opportunity I've had to have one. It didn't seem like a big uh, issue to me. Some of my neighbors had uh, tacky wind chimes and you know some very uh, strange looking things hanging out front of their units that weren't really an issue. Uh, but they decided to come after, uh, come after me instead. I don't really know why. Maybe because I was the new guy in the neighborhood, but. Let me ask you, you quickly. Know, I think what, we can what, have re what, yeah. what kind of fines are you facing? Uh, well, they're going to be uh, gradually escalating. Uh, I was originally slapped with uh, supposed to be a few hundred uh, dollar fine, about uh, roughly two hundred dollars, uh, and that's supposed to escalate from there. Uh, that was stayed because we uh, we circulated a petition through the entire neighborhood. We got uh, roughly ninety percent of everyone who lives here to sign this petition in support of allowing me to leave my flag. We we did this in the middle of the winter. It wasn't very fun to do, but we did it anyway uh, because I think it was necessary. And uh, n roughly ninety percent of the residents here supported us. Um, so the board backed off temporarily with their fines, but they're going to, uh, they, they try to crack down again now after I tried to compromise with them and, and be reasonable. I received a letter from them yesterday saying that my compromise uh, compromises and trying to, uh, you know, uh, deal with them nicely uh, has been rejected. And so I just immediately put it back up and figured... Uh, Sun News might care about this. All right, and look at that. 90% of the people in that neighborhood back you. I think uh, that's what you call democracy, my friend. And why not keep that flag up? Mm -hmm. uh, keep us updated on what's happening, Derek. Great hearing from you. Will do. All right, that was Derek Fildebrandt of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation.